earlier this season on The Rock of Love. Are we ready to rock the house? <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. Let's go. I realized I am not very good at dating. All right. I've either had crazy, wild, rock and roll bus sex, or I've been in long relationships. So we've divided into two groups pretty much in the house. We've got the bad girls, which are my girls. Yay! Then you have the good girls. They are so boring. Someone send them back to the convent. Yeah, no, yeah. The party was getting out of control, and it possibly could kill me, and I'm not talking about in a good dying way. I'm talking about actually dying way. I'm a little hurting right now this morning. <laughs> Nobody loves to party harder than I do. However, we have been partying hard since day one, and it could possibly be killing me. Can I get a break over here? Can I... So I hear Erin talking about some fiance that she's had. I'm like, what the hell? Erin's supposed to get married in May. I'm like, I'm like, why, why, why be here? I'm sorry, Erin, for you, the tour ends here. I understand. Victory is sweet. Bye-bye, star. I like Jess a lot, because at this point, she has her guard up, her arms about still like this. I can't say that I've ever been in love. The last guy I was dating cheated on me with my best friend. The road every rose has a thorn over a broken heart. You've seen some good times. She is a really good girl. She just needs to have the walls come down a little bit. Looking into his eyes, it started to make me realize why I feel the way I do about him. Lacey and I have had an alliance from the start. These girls need to watch their back. We're gonna be taking them out one by one. Come on, I wanna talk to you for a minute. I think you're here for me. Right. I'm just falling and falling for this man. She could be the one. You don't oh, my God. Oh, my God. I want Lacey gone. She's a malicious, manipulative bitch. I can't stand Lacey. She's so evil. Lacey is hated by every girl in that house. Heather, you're such a bitch. My alliance with Lacey is over. You're not the same person when they're here. My parents have known me for 30 years. They do years. not know who you are. Your daughter is a slut. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the torrent's here. Okay. And now, the exciting conclusion of Rock of Love. Today, um, Brett is taking Heather and I to Cabo. Heather's in for a real rude awakening. Now that I've gotten this far and gone through the things that I've gone through, I'm not about to give up, and she just better watch her back. I'm more convinced than ever that I'm meant for Brett, and he sees that too. Oh, we're down to the wire, and I almost have my man. The claws are coming out. There's no way I'm letting her just walk away with him. Are we ready to go to Mexico? Hi. Hi. I'm so pumped up. I packed more I'll never use any of it. So at last, I'm down to two girls, and I'm loving both of them. This is going to be an extremely, extremely rough decision for me to make. Mexico, here we come. <laughs> is him. Touching down. I'm so excited. I can't wait to like Garacha with my man in Mexico. Come on. So as we arrive at the Mikaba Hotel, they roll out the absolute red carpet for us. It was awesome. We jump out of the car, the girls are excited, the music's playing, four other hot, sexy girls are dancing, right? Heather just about knocks me out to try to get to one of the girls who is a hot, sexy dancer. I pay no attention to the girl because I'm paying attention to the girls I'm with. But the girl I'm with is paying attention to the girl who I'm not paying attention to. Strange moment for me.
we finally get into the hotel and I tell the girls, go to your room, the staff will get you there. I'm gonna go to my room and get ready. We've got a beautiful dinner to have tonight. Wow! How yes, cute perfect. is Oh my. Look at the booty shorts. This is so me. Bienvenidos, my lovely ladies. I've had a killer time with the two of you and can't wait to turn up the heat under the Mexican sun. I'll see you both later tonight for an awesome dinner by the pool. Love. goal tonight is to just show Brett that I have all, all these different sides and that I really am passionate about being with him and Jess is not. Striking up a confrontation is sort of against my morals. I can't do it, but there's a fight inside of me that wants to be with Brett, so if I have to do it, I will. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Young, beautiful girl. Good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So here I am in Cabo San Lucas with the terrific two. You're welcome. Jump on in here. Thank you, thank you. You can feel immediately when the girls arrived that there was a tension. There's bread here. My heart is just pounding knowing I gotta cut through the bull and pick one of these girls to be my girlfriend. So I launch into a lot of questions that I need answered. Heather, you'd have to clear this up for me. You know, we laugh a lot about other girls. You know, we'll laugh like, oh, look at her. We're both fighting over who's are hotter or whose ass is tighter. Where I get a little confused sometimes. And is it out of fun or is it out I of, think I think she's, she's hot I think and she's I want to bring pretty. her into our relationship. No. Like, I think Brett's onto something here. I think Heather's a skanky that would love to be in an open relationship with other women. I'm just not a hater, I'm a congratulator. If there's a hot girl, I'll be the first one to be, oh, she's got a nice rock or whatever, but I'm not saying come be my man. Brett is obsessed with the fact that I love beautiful women. Oh, I got you. You okay. see what I mean? I just think that I'm the complete package, and I think that I'm perfect for you, and you're perfect for me. Right. I'm at the right time in my life. One of those negatives about Heather was that I fear that she was just a party girl. Jess, are you ready to be a mom? Are you ready for a family lifestyle? You, you keep bringing up my age difference. Mm -hmm. Everybody at the age of 23 is 100% different than everybody else. You can't compare age at the age I am. Jess is young and not exactly sure if she could fall head over heels in love. What were you doing when you were 23? Could, did, would you want kids at 23? Would you, were you ready to have a family at 23 years old? I, I, I wasn't ready at 23 now. Like but I you're am. 31 years old and you're still stripping. <coughs> I'm so sick and tired of the stripper thing. Who cares about At least I'm able to show my feelings and, and tell somebody I love them. And it doesn't not. matter. I'm to me it does. To me you guys does. can, that's the only card that all you guys have on no. me. That's it. And everybody knows that. Because if you're strong Because I've met him and I'm never going back ever. Period. Heather's totally full of <laughs> Brett's Heather's ticket out from dancing. She is never going to get out of it on her own. You all want to take a bite of food, by the way, because it's really, really good. Anybody? God, dating two women is stressful, man. Tomorrow, one of you are going out all day, and, and then the next day, one of you out all day, and then we go back to LA, and my gut will be in a knot, and we'll make this decision. Tonight's dinner in Cabo was pretty tough. I'm really gonna need these next few days to find out where my heart truly is at. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you right, so much. See you tomorrow. Dirty. Oh! Oh! If you were searching my butt crack, you get sand. <laughs> I'm in love with you, Brad. I don't even know you what know, to say. You just never know when you drop those three words. Let's go to the room immediately. Then later, if I start to go into insulin shock, just pop this sucker open, right? Jam it in my ass. This is what I have to do to save his life. Then later, I'm looking for that girl that just fits. I didn't want to let either one out of my life, but I have a thought. Is there any way? I'd love to. Jess, what do you think? It's not in me. Today, it's such a beautiful day in Cabo, and I just hope I get the first date with Brett today so I can talk to him. 
vloggers. Hello. Hi, how are you? And it's no from Brent. Oh, thank you. Heather, Cabo's hot and so are you. It's time to get dirty, just us two. Just see you later for now, just chill. Tomorrow we're hanging and I promise to thrill. I hope Jess is a lot of fun by herself. Not. Let me go get ready. Peace out. Woo. Oh my God, I'm just so pissed that Heather's getting the first date with Brad. I don't want her to think that she has some sort of an advantage. Hello, super hot. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are How you, you feeling? My first date is with Heather. She always talks about the ranch, about the open desert, about having fun. So I planned something amazing. All this good stuff. Look, they're like doom buggies. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, hell yeah. Well, here we are, baby. Yay. I knew this is what you Yeah. So I take her out to the middle of the desert. We're going doom buggy ride, and it is going to kick ass. Come on, hotness. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Hi. Nice to see you. You too. You got it. Thank you. Bam. You got it. Uh-huh. That is killer. You all good? You ready? Ready. I was having a great time with Heather, and all of a sudden it happens. I started to feel really, really sick again from the diabetes. You having fun? I love it. Let's yeah. go eat. How you doing over there? I'm fighting something. Let's, why don't we try to eat something? Like, let's see if it makes me feel better. There's a part of me that is completely, completely exhausted from the dune buggy ride. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest, my diabetes and all the partying is really starting to catch up on me, and I'm not feeling particularly great. And so I just look over at Heather and I say, Heather, do you mind? I want to go grab a bite to eat. What are you all right? Let's we go are. eat. I want to drive it. All right, baby. You got it. As sick as I was feeling, I thought, I'm a survivor. I think I can do this. Oh, yeah. Watch out. Hey. I let her drive the thing, and let me tell you something. She was freaking me out, man. She was hitting everything. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, oh. Take her down easy. Hey, hold on, don't die. Take her down. Oh. Sorry. Watch out. Hey, oh. Watch out. I gotta eat something. One of the things that kind of scared me a little bit was that I thought I was going to die. All the while, I look over to Heather, and she's just clearly not affected by this at all. Awesome. It is extremely stressful. And to tell you the truth, it was kind of eating me up inside. I felt really bad. Let's go eat. got a beautiful picnic set up on one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Cabo. This is so Perfect. amazing. Is this not great? Perfect. Uh, After a while, I was starting to feel a little bit better. I'm now starting to feel like I'm not going to go into insulin shock, which is really scary. So I finally decided to have fun. You have an awesome day today. Killer, <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> and now it's over. So here's what we're doing tonight: a dinner. <laughs> Sounds great. It'll be awesome. We just had this wonderful day together. I'm so grateful, and we still have yet to go to dinner tonight. I'm really excited about it. Finally, found the man of my dreams. Oh my God, the best date ever on the entire planet. <laughs> After an amazing date, I come back to the room, and just as there, of course, there my buzz. I hope you join tonight, because I don't think you're going to be anything more than buddy to him. That sounds really confident. You know, it really pissed me off that Heather came in bragging about her date, so now I'm going to with her. Hey, how are you, Heather? Hey, Rachel, how are you? 
have dinner with Brad? I am. I right, am. Ready to go? All right. right. I'm going to have dinner with my future husband. Don't think about it too much. I know you will. You might want to retire that dress because it screams stripper. Oh, you're the one that wore on, bitch. You're the one that wore skanky outfit to a five-star dinner last night. I had on something classy. You had on a mini skirt to a five-star dinner jacket. Really? Stripper dress, bitch. Jess completely tried to ruin my date by saying I look like a stripper in my cute little sundress. But whatever, who cares what she's got to say? Nothing's going to bring me down. Baby, that may be the sexiest dress ever. Like How are you doing? Good. You come to kill me. <laughs> I set up a romantic dinner for Heather and myself at the Nikki Beach Bar. You're looking at the waves crashing in the background. The night is falling. The tiki lamps are out. If I can say there's a heaven on earth, this was it right here. Oh, did you have a good time today? I had a great time. Thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. And I can already tell this is going to be an amazing night and a wonderful dinner. I'm excited. What am I up against? Do you feel closer bond with me? Or is she kind of growing on you? Or are we even? I mean, here's the truth. Without a doubt, me and you bonded instantly, and yeah. we bonded on a party level. We bonded oh, we on some. different levels. Well, go with me. Mm -hmm. Immediately, we bonded on that level. No girl in that house bonded closer than me and you. Heather and I had such an awesome time on our date, but I gotta be honest with you, I have to address some issues with her. I need to get to the bottom of it. Coming up. You have a great energy, but that also could be a, a bad thing, too. All these emotions are just whipping through my brain, and it's and it's killing me right now. The scariest thing for me right now is there's still that chance of rejection. So I don't know what I'm, what to do. Eventually, Jess is going to have to jump. Hey, Jess. Without a doubt, me and you bonded instantly, and right. we bonded on a party level. We bonded on different levels. Well, go with me. Well, no girl in that house bonded closer than me and you. I feel really close to Heather at this point. However, I don't want my heart broken again. I had the most miserable feeling in my life when my heart was broken by an exotic dancer before. So I'm looking at Heather, and I'm trying to eyeball her up or down, and all these emotions are just whipping through my brain, and it's, and it's killing me right now at dinner. Every night, five or six nights of the week, I play a show, I get my yayas out. In other words, I'm big, smash guitars, stuff blows up. You are a very energetic person, and I just wonder at what point do you say, you know what, I need to go out and do my own thing. And what would that thing be? How would you entertain yourself? Here's the thing about Heather that concerns me. After spending five or six years like that, dancing for so many different men, is she just a great party friend? Or maybe she's just done with that life, and maybe she is ready to come over with me and try to make for a great relationship, you know? And, and this is yet to be seen. You have a great energy, but that also could be a, a bad thing too. What if you start to get bored? Is basically what I'm saying. Right, but see, I'm not like this all the time. Honestly, right. when I'm back at my house in Vegas, I really don't. Do to be honest with you, I mean, I like get up, I work, and I take my dogs to the park, and that's it. Right. That's. I mean, honestly, like I kind of leave a boring life. Do you think though that part of it is because you get to get your yayas out? And you know what I mean by yeah, like. In other words, you can go out and entertain. You can do stuff. So when you get away from that, you're like, what a break. I think that he thinks all dancers are the same and they're like wild on and off the stage. And that's not the case for me. I need to show Brett that I am not afraid to lay it on the line. I'm in love with you, Brett. That's just, that's it. For real? Yeah, I am. And I want to spend my life with you. I don't know what else, I, I don't even know you what know, to say. Um, beyond, I mean, That's the way totally I feel, gone. I have to be honest with you. I was hoping Brett would say that he loved me back, but you just never know when you drop those three words. <laughs> I can't even, I don't, I don't have words. Like, I don't, I, it's, it is. You can see you it in my ask. eyes, though. I can feel it, I, mean, I can feel it in yeah. the way you hold my hand. She's looking at me, telling me right in my eyes that she loves me. And I get a little nervous because when I looked in her eyes, my heart, immediately bought it. Let's go to the room immediately. Throw it up. Oh, I can't even get <laughs> up with these. I think Brett's falling for me, too. This is so perfect. Oh, come on, super hot. We're hot together. Oh. 
and I had a wonderful day at the beach, a dinner that was romantic as hell, and now we're gonna cap off the night with some sexy alone time in his room. For you. Oh. That's tremendous. Beauteous. Tremendous. Very beauteous. Mm. This suite is absolutely amazing. There's candles all over the place, some champagne. It's definitely a romantic spot. You gotta see the view out here is yeah. killer. The whole ocean is just, it's insane. Oh, this is beautiful. Is this not insane? Oh. I know it makes Brett feel wonderful to know exactly how I feel about him. And now I can't wait to show him exactly how I feel too. on cloud nine right now. I had a beautiful time with Brett, and I know our bond and connection is stronger than it's ever been. Have a great trip back to LA, and I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Thanks for everything, baby. You're welcome. Have a horrible date. I will. <laughs> no, have a horrible date. <laughs> have a horrible date. Bye, baby. Yeah. See you later. There's no way in hell Jess is gonna have a better date with Brett than me. No way. It's, it's impossible. How was your night? It's good. Here's awesome. I'm make it all night. Amazing. Heather comes sashaying in from her date with Brett last night, and she looks like a hooker in her <laughs> clothes, and her hair's all <laughs> up. And well, actually, her hair always looks like that, so that's nothing new. I really need to go sh like shower, but if I want to take a scent off me, I might rather just sit here and. Can you smell it? Can you smell them on me? Mmm. This smells rotten. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not rotten. It's beautiful when you love somebody. She needs to shower. Badly. Ew. Hello. Hello. Awesome. Thank you so much. Jess, you've been one hell of a sport, waiting all day at the resort. Now it's time for us to jet. Hope you're ready for your man, Brett. Hmm. Jealous? Not at all. I would be. Right. Of you? You're no competition for me at all. The only thing you have up on me is boobs, and I can get them tomorrow if I wanted them. She may be able to buy but she can't buy wet, and that's what she's really lacking, so whatever. I'm here to take you with the now. Awesome, great. Just Thank remember you. when you're kissing him, where his mouth has been all last night this morning. So when you kiss him, you'll be licking me. I'm completely disgusted right now thinking about where Brett's mouth has been, but I'm gonna try and put it in the back of my mind, not think about it, and have a kick ass time on my date. About it. Second, baby. <laughs> Jess greets me with the most awesome kiss ever between me and her. I mean, she just lip locks, and this is good stuff right here, right? I already know we're on our radio a good day, and oddly enough, not knowing we're both wearing awesome. matching bandanas. I was semi awesome, now I'm really awesome. Today, I have a really, really special date plan for Jess. This will be my real last chance to get into Jess's heart and soul and find out where she's really at. I really need to see if Jess can let down her walls and let me in. Baby, I have a little surprise. We talked about a little boating, right? Mm hmm Well, I went a little bigger than little. <laughs> at the marina and I see a gorgeous, gorgeous yacht and honestly it's almost bigger than a lot of houses. Oh. Is this not insane? It's beautiful. If I can't land this girl with a 75 foot yacht, I got nothing. This don't suck, does it? No. This is good times right here. Oh my god. 
I love the seals. Where? See them on the rocks? Look. How cool are those? I know, I'm... He picked out the perfect date for us to go on. I, I'm obsessed with the ocean. I love boats, you know, and it's exactly what I needed with Brett. I needed to see him, talk to him, hold him, be near him. We just made out a lot and showed a lot of affection. Awesome. At this point, I'm just worried that I'm not making it clear to Brett exactly how I feel. You want to sit here? Yeah, I'll sit I was waiting for this, to be honest. I was so excited to come on this day because you knew it was going to be something fun. It's always fun, and literally, if you're there, it's fun. I just have Thank fun you. in in your company. Right. Um, what I realize is the scariest thing for me right now is there's still that chance of rejection. So I don't know what I'm what to do. She told me that she really did love being with me and wanted to be here, and she was committed to me. But eventually, Jess is going to have to jump and find out if this is going to work or not. Eventually, to fall in love, here's the gap. I'm safe here, and there's where I need to go, and there is no way I can jump without knowing there's no net. I've jumped and missed the cliff. Right. I mean, and other times I've jumped, and it's been the best thing ever happened to me. Brett made a statement that said, basically, you have to jump before you fall in love. and. Considering the situation, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Coming up, if I start to go into insulin shock, just pop this sucker open, right? Jam it in my ass. This is what I have to do to save his life. And later, I'm looking for that girl that just fits. I will do anything to show him how much he means to me. I didn't want to let either one out of my life. I don't know what it is when I'm with Brad Bottom. It makes him crazy. This was my rock of love. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. At this point, frankly, I think Heather's been very open and honest at the table. Jess is still hiding something. Come on, I'll see you at dinner, all right? Yeah. I arranged for Jess and I to have this private dinner at another resort. I start to realize that something with me and my body, my diabetes, is not right. And all the while, the clock is ticking and Jess is headed my direction. And it's freaking me out because I'm sick, and I mean really sick. This may be the last dinner I ever spend with her. Hello, beautiful baby girl. Let's see. When I meet Brett at the restaurant, you know, he always looks really, really good, and he still did. He just, I could just tell that there's something wrong with him. There's, you know, it's just, something wasn't right. Here's the thing, and I want to tell you this, and I apologize, because I want this to be the best evening ever. Wow. I am not feeling super great from my diabetes right now. Like, I'm having a, um, a tough go. Right. And I just wanted you to know, I got this thing. I just want to explain. Don't laugh and work. No, I, of course. Let me get it out of my system. This will save my life. I realize that something's wrong with my body, and I'm feeling the crunch of my diabetes, and my insides are not feeling good. My energy is gone, my blood sugar is extremely low, and I'm just not feeling great. If I start to go into insulin shock, just pop this sucker open, right, mm -hmm. and just take that top off and hit me with this needle, I'm not saying anything this is gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I don't want to freak you out. Brett tells me he's not feeling good. So then all of a sudden he busts out this red pen that if in case he goes into a diabetic coma, this is what I have to do to basically save his life. It's kind of overwhelming. Obviously I need to know these things, but I want you to promise me that if for any reason you don't feel good, that you we'll will go. tell me. I promise you, I swear to you, and I promise you, I did there. You're the hell out of me. There's so many things that I've been needing and wanting to talk to Brett about, but looking at Brett and looking into his eyes and seeing that he just isn't feeling good, it it's tearing me apart. You know, it's it's starting to affect me. What's wrong? Oh, baby. I'm f***ing worried sick about you. I don't want you to come here. No, I bet. 
I don't want you to be worried sick. Trust me. I can't have a conversation about me and my emotions when you don't feel good. I can't. It's not in me. Okay, well then... Listen, I don't have this because I really care about you and I, I, I really love being with you, all right? That's when it hit me. This was it, man. Her guard was down. This girl really did care, and it's, and it's really working. Come on, let's go back. I can't stand another second, and I'm holding you. Grab my, uh... Yeah. Just jam that in my ass. You know what to do. Whatever he needs, I'm there. Physically, we bonded. We just emotionally bonded. And this is what I've been waiting to do with her since day one. And I got the jacuzzi fired up. The what? Jacuzzi. I don't even know that was up there. Brett and I both have had a very stressful night. But nothing makes a stressful night better than going to a nice hot jacuzzi. Naked. I would say it was the perfect ending of a perfect day, minus the insulin shock I almost went into. Oh, even God. though last night you didn't feel good today, I had a great time. I wasn't feeling well, and I thank you last night for being so real with me. I just want you to know that. That means I care a lot about you. The one thing I love about a Jess is her innocence. She's not a player. She really means what she says. After what turned out to be a great night with Jess, I gotta be honest, it was really tough to say goodbye to her. I just left him and I already missed Brad. It's, it's weird. It's hard not being around him. It's my last day in Cabo. And I sent the girls back to Los Angeles. I put them up in a hotel so that I could just have some real real quality time alone. I can see their faces. I can feel their pain. I sit here and wonder, now what if that were me? I have extremely strong feelings for both girls. And I know this decision I'm about to make is going to be one of the toughest decisions I have ever made in my life. I hope it gives me one more day. Tonight is it. This is the grand finale. Yeah, John, I got two really beautiful women and one tough decision to make. I don't want to let either one of these girls out of my life. I don't want to do it. I think this one I got to make on my own. You got it. Thanks, buddy. But this is what I'm here to do. It's to find one true love. heart is just pounding knowing the girls are on their way and they're gonna be here any minute. It's time to get serious. How can Brett not take me home? I've got me hair, awesome pastel to go with the figure slash Cabo tan Betty Hearts. There's no way in hell he can look at me and turn me down. No way. But if he doesn't choose me, then... Yeah, we're not gonna be friends. Mm -mm. I like the sound of... Oh. I've been doing nothing but getting an emotional pass. A few days. Just because it's scary, you know? You make that jump and you're in midair and you don't know what's gonna happen. It's scared of being rejected. It's 
completely hard. I didn't think it'd be this hard, but it is. To the house and there's red carpet entrance and you walk in the house and it's covered in candles, roses. I take my spot and I'm a nervous wreck. I'm freaking out. I couldn't even tell you in words how I was feeling. It's every single emotion that you could possibly feel. Happy, sad, scared, vulnerable, everything, you know, you're just, I was feeling it all at once. Walking into the final elimination, I'm confident, I feel great. I know I'm just minutes away from walking away with the man of my dreams. Then I see Heather walk through the door and I couldn't help but roll my eyes. Her 80s porn hair is bad, really bad. absolutely beautiful. As you can see tonight, I don't have Big John with me. Um, I just have myself and my soul, and I want this moment for us together to be the most intimate moment that I can make it. I have in front of me two of the most beautiful women in the world, and I just want to start out saying to you, Heather, that you have been, for me, like a best friend. Over here, I got Heather, who I think started out as my party girl friend, and completely came this direction, showing me her commitment, her love, her friendship. You're an awesome human being. And Jess, for you, you've came from this girl who was sort of cold. On the other side, I have Jess, who started out this whole thing being very guarded, very distant, and she's come full circle. Now she's warm and close. She's protected me when I was sick. She's been there for me. We had an unbelievable moment in Cabo. I went through something, uh, a moment in my life that was pretty horrific, and you were there for me, and that meant the world to me. Here's where I'm at tonight. I've got to make a decision that has been extremely tough. And the only way I can put this, and it's just something uh, that I want to put out there, something I'm feeling. As I was standing up there, it all came to me because I had not made a decision at that point, and I didn't want to let either one out of my life. But I have a thought. I got one more big test for the girls. Is there any way both of you would be my girlfriend? Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of Rock of Love. decision has been extremely tough and the only way I can put this and it's just something uh, that I want to put out there something I'm feeling is there any way both of you would be my girlfriend this is the God's honest truth that I really loved both girls so I got one more big test so I looked at both girls and I said would both of you consider being my girlfriends. Heather, would you share me with Jess? I'd love to. I am so determined to be with Brett. I will do anything and everything to show him how much he means to me. Jess, what do you think? I can't share somebody that I care about. It's not in me. If you're mine, you're mine, that's it. You know, you come to crossroads in your life, and I realized at that very moment, that's what I need. That's what this show is all about. I am looking for someone in my life, um, into every part of my life. I want to give them every bit of, that is me, and I want them to be every part of what I am, as I am every part of what they are. I'm looking for that girl that just fits, that just works. Heather, would you come down here, please? You look absolutely... 
absolutely beautiful. Thank you, baby. You've been nothing but a great friend to me. I don't want to lose you. I just want to say that I'm, I don't think you're going to be that girl. Heather, don't leave the house like this. Without a doubt, this was one of the hardest decisions of my life I've ever had to make. But in the end, I let Heather go. I've never been that sick or that lost in my life, but I needed to make that decision, and Jess was the right decision for me. I opened up my heart and he took advantage of me, and that's an ass for you. I let my guard down for once in my entire life, and he took advantage of it. I don't want anything that has to do with a liar, phony, piece of disrespectful ass He's like America's ass right now for doing this to me. Yes. Would you come down here, please? I don't know what it is when I'm with Brett, but he's that person that makes you feel giddy inside. You know, it's that, like, your first crush, and every time you see him, you're just happy. But at this point, I'm crazy about Brett. I cry every time I think about him. It makes me crazy. I feel crazy. You know, the other night, I was having a really tough time with my diabetes, and you were there for me, and that meant everything to me. Because in the end, that's what it is. I got exactly what I wanted. Someone who was cool, someone who was hot, someone who was smart, someone who was funny. She finally let her guard down. This was my rock of love. Now I have a tattoo of this loser's name on the back of my neck. <laughs> That's. That's why I was nervous all day, because I knew he was such a fake, two-faced, pansy bitch who can't grab his own balls and tell somebody how he feels or tell somebody this or that. I've heard him he talk about everybody, because he has no game. He's Oh, well, America will see that he's the biggest ass after they watch all this. I mean, I like, of course, I'm sure you guys will edit to make me look like an ass and hook him out on top. Great. Ha <laughs> ha